Are you serious? Are you serious? Good morning, everyone. Grab a cup of coffee or your tea, grapefruit juice, uh, orange juice. I had some of that this morning. And let's turn to the Word of God. I'm going to be reading from the King James Version of the Bible in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. It's a great, it really is a, a wonderful chapter. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus that as you have received of us how you ought to walk and to please God so ye would abound more and more. For you know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because of the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God hath not given us unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, you need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed you do it toward all brethren which are in all Macedonia, but we beseech you, brethren, that you increase more and more and that you study to be quiet and to do your own businesses and to work with your own hands as we commanded you that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye may have lack of nothing. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain <laughs> unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. First Thessalonians chapter 4, powerful chapter of the great promise we have that if we are dead in Christ, we shall rise in Christ and we shall be first. If we're alive when Christ returns, we shall be changed. In a moment of a twinkling of an eye, we shall be caught up to be with him in the clouds. Are you saved? It's time to give your life to Jesus Christ. We're truly running out of time. I mean, we are really running out of time. Take this very seriously, what I'm telling you. These are the last days.